Section 1. The Elastic Stack In this section, we are going to take a look at all the products of the elastic family followed by the importance of analyzing your data with Elastic Stack. Finally, we will be installing and starting Elasticsearch, Logstash and Kibana in a system running with Windows Operating System. Chapter 1. The Elastic Family In this video, we are going to take a look at a brief introduction about all the product offerings of Elastic and how each product fit into the stack. The first and most important product of the Elastic Stack family is Elasticsearch, a distributed full text search server and analytic engine that is built on top of Apache Lucene. It serves as the heart of the Elastic Stack. Elasticsearch was first developed by Shay Bannon and was open sourced as a distributed search engine in 2010. Right from its first release, it gained popularity for its ease of use and was implemented by many companies. Later, in 2012, the Elasticsearch company was founded by the people behind Elasticsearch and Apache Lucene. In March 2015, the company was renamed to Elastic as an initiative to better align the company with the broad solution it provided. The next product in the Elastic Stack family is Logstash, an open source data collection engine with real-time pipelining capabilities. It was started by Jordan Sissel in 2009. Later in August 2013, Logstash was added to the Elastic family. A few months later, a new product by the name Logstash Forwarder was introduced. The main difference between Logstash and Logstash Forwarder was that Logstash Forwarder was used only to ship logs from server, whereas Logstash had capabilities of converting the files to JSON document and had the ability to send to various output nodes like Kafka, file, etc. The other reason being for the existence of Logstash Forwarder was that Logstash is a Java-based program and it was heavy to install on all the host servers. In contrary, Logstash Forwarder was a lightweight product and was used to collect log files from all the servers. The next member in the product line is Kibana, an open source browser-based analytic and search dashboard for Elasticsearch. It was created by Rashid Khan in 2011. Later, in Jan 2013, Rashid joined the Elasticsearch team and it became the visual frontend of the Elastic Stack. Together, these three products became a very powerful tool called the ELK Stack or the ELK Stack, where E stands for Elasticsearch, L stands for Logstash, and K stands for Kiwana. The ELK Stack became an instant hit and was widely adopted by many companies. Wikipedia, GitHub, eBay, Facebook, Cisco, and NASA are a few examples among a large number of companies who were benefited by the ELK stack. In May 2015, Elastic introduced the Beats family, a platform for building lightweight open source data shippers that can send data to Elasticsearch which can be analyzed later. We will be seeing in detail about the Beats platform in the upcoming slides. With Beats added to the product line, Elastic unveiled the Elastic Stack in Feb 2016, which consisted of Elasticsearch, Logstash, Kibana, and Beats. A new product by the name XPack was introduced in Feb 2016 that extends the Elastic Stack with features such as security, alerting, monitoring, reporting, and graph. We will look into each product of XPack later in this video. The Beats platform, Packet Beats, a real-time network and packet analytic solution was developed by Tudor and Monica and was acquired by Elastic in May 2015. Along with this, they also unveiled the Beats platform. In the same release, another Beats was also introduced by the name File Beats, which was the replacement of Logstash Forwarder. Metric Beats. Metric Beats is a lightweight shipper that can be installed on servers to periodically collect metrics from the operating system and the services running on it. Previously, 
the product was known by the name Top Beats. In Feb 2016, Winlog Beat, a lightweight shipper for Windows event logs, was introduced. It runs as a Windows service and can ship event log data to Elasticsearch or Logstash. Later, in July 2016, the LibBeat framework was unveiled through which the developers can develop their own beats. Some of the famous community beats are Ping Beats and Docker Beats. XPack Monitoring In Jan 2014, Elastic introduced their first commercial product by the name Marvel, a product which will monitor Elastic search deployments in real time, giving system administrators complete transparency into the state of their deployments. As part of the XPack package, it was later renamed to Monitoring. Shield In Jan 2015, Elastic introduced a commercial plugin by the name Shield to enhance the security and administrative functionalities in Elasticsearch. A few features of Shield are providing role-based access control, LDAP-based authentication system support, and audit logging. Alerting In May 2015, a new product providing alerting and notification capabilities for Elasticsearch was introduced which was called by the name Watcher. Watcher allowed companies that use Elasticsearch for real-time search and analytics to set up alerts and notifications around the changes and trends in their data. Reporting A new feature called Reporting was introduced with XPack, which was used to generate scheduled and email dashboard reporting. A new feature called Reporting was introduced along with the XPack package. Reporting was used to generate scheduled an email dashboard as PDF reports to any user or group to collaborate among the team. Graph In March 2016, Graph, a new extension of Elasticsearch and Kibana, was introduced which allows users to uncover, understand and explore the relationship between the data.